I'm just looking at all this. What happened there was just a couple little strands of this, and this is all your your ubies or purple yams? Yeah, it's turned into the day of the triffids. Oh, know, I... Some people would recognize that reference. I don't, re I don't know what that is, but wait, I'm going to pan. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This was like these little bubble things and pieces and I'm going to swing slowly around. Oh my gosh. It's everywhere. And this isn't even just here. Yeah, it's gone up the avocado tree, the dead one. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh my gosh. So much for paying attention. Look at that. That's in the dishwasher. Okay, so you've got one of the purple yams, the pieces, whatever, in a dishwasher and it took off up inside, up that dead avocado tree. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I, I can't get over how big this is and how much there is. Are we going to be able to eat all this? Yes. Well, oh, that's right. You like it. You cook it. So that's good. Oh my goodness. I think we need to go down and take a look and see what you've got in your garden. Now I'm slowly walking down this garden to go see all this ubies. Oh my gosh. And this is this is a view from down below where I just took it. And there goes the avocado tree back there and all that. Oh my gosh. I don't know what we're going to do with so much of this stuff. If we don't eat it, and you'll have to talk loud because of the speaker on this, if we don't eat it and you just left them in the ground... They'll get bigger and bigger and bigger, and they could get to, I don't know, but in places in the tropics, 100, 150 pounds. Okay, so there's no loss. You just leave it in the ground, it just... It's a perennial, it just keeps growing bigger and bigger, so all this is to store in the tuber so that when the dry season hits, it goes dormant and it'll come back next year, it'll have the energy to come back. Wow, and you've got more down the center? More down the center. And then I the can't get it, we'll have to, I'll have to come down and, and see what's going on. Ne next year going to be the big year. I think it's the big year this year. Now I'm down in this. Where do you, what do you call this again? A pergola. pergola. Look at that. It's just... Okay, so whatever we don't eat, because there's no way we're going to be eating all this. Here's another one here. And this, yep, this that, one's in the ground, right? Yeah, that's in the ground. That's the last one I planted. This is the last one? Wow. I mean, I see it, I come by, but it, the stuff is growing so fast, like every day, it, it must grow feet. Yeah, it can probably grow a foot a day. It hasn't set any bulbs yet, but I'm keep, keeping my eyes out because it'll have these aerial tubers coming off places like that. And the tubers, you, you plant those, you plant right? plant those, yeah. But this, so, okay, so there is totally no loss if you don't eat it. It's just self-storing in the ground, and you can pull it out anytime you want, all year? Anytime you want. Wow. And this is a big food in what, in Africa? No, all no? through, from Northern Australia, the Philippines, up through Indonesia, Thailand, and India. That's kind of Southeast Asia, I guess, that general area. So this is like a reliable food source for them. Yeah, it's a permaculture survival type food. I'll follow you in for a moment and then... I, I did have wow. a walkway between here, but they've all just sort of combined and they're heading to the canopy. And I, I put in sticks or br branches. Next year I'm just going to hang rebar from the pergola straight down and have them run up the rebar. 
Well, I'm just looking at all this because I was just down here recently and they were not this big. Maybe two or three weeks ago. I wasn't even, it was even sooner. I mean, they're, they're growing that quick because I can see them like this is down below, down the hillside and I can see them from up above, but when you come down here, it's just, so, they're so dense. Now they're gonna lose their leaves pretty soon. We're at in, the middle of September. They'll lose it in December. Well, I'm thinking December, because that's when they lose them in Florida. I couldn't find anyone else growing them in Southern California. Uh, there probably is, there's probably Filipino people growing them in their backyard, but they're not posting anything on YouTube. So it's hard to find information about growing them in Southern California. In fact, there was nothing. But Florida, because they get summer rain, they grow like crazy there. We have to water them here because our rain comes in the winter. Yes, but before the wood chips took hold on the ground, and how long have they been here on the ground? Less than two years. Yeah, this area here. Yeah, yeah, it's... Gradu it's been a gradual spread of the wood chips. Okay, they would never have grown in our soil. No, they would at not. At all. They would not have grown in this soil. This, Basically underneath the pergola is bedrock, which is shale. Wow. Well, we'll have to come back when they have the bobles and do another. Th oh, look at the new growth. I'm just amazed at the coloring. It's how beautiful it is. It'll be fun, I guess, to eat them because the ones we have eaten that you had were so good. Love making, as I call it, mashed potatoes and they're purple and they really taste good. Wow, so you've got these, are, these here are all in the ground. These are all in the ground. This is the best, these are the best ones, best performing ones. The ones I've got along the chain link are uh, struggling against the pine trees. These don't have any competition for their roots, and their root system is massive too. I've dug around a little bit, and what you see above the ground is probably going on under the ground. So they've got a very strong root system. I'm going to put my two cents in here and say something. Okay. I think the ones up on top there, see if I can get a shot of them, which are yellower, and they are struggling. They also don't have as much wood chips that, that these do here. It, it didn't break down like it did here. How much wood chips is up there? There's probably maybe a foot deep up there. Yeah, but this seems to be, it's like the gully. It's holding more water down here. Yeah, it's holding more water. It's drier up there. It also gets more wind. So oh, it going, gets more wind up on top. It's going to evaporate from the leaves. But I bet you the soil here is better, oh, down the here. soil's better. Just look at the bananas. Okay, that's what it is. I think the soil's better, but you're right. They have to fight against the wind and it dries. Well, this is beautiful. We'll have to come back when we have bubbles. But, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. Well, everybody, I'll do an update later. And don't forget to eat what you grow. I can't wait to eat this.